Wetlands. They're the link between water and land. The transition between dry land and open water. Without them, many living things would not survive. A wetland is a land area that is saturated or submerged with shallow water, either seasonally or permanently. Due to variations in climate, water chemistry, vegetation and landscape, four general types of wetlands exist, marshes, swamps, bogs, and fens. Marshes are characterized by their periodic flooding and unique vegetation which is adapted to thrive in wet soil conditions. They can be coastal saltwater marshes or inland freshwater marshes. Wetlands provide many valuable services. They can take poor water quality and filter it. Heavy metals are often taken up and out of water by plants and wetlands. Excess nutrients from fertilizer and waste can be harmful to humans and wildlife, but plants and wetlands are able to consume them and turn these pollutants into non-toxic matter. Naturally occurring bacteria in wetland soil also aids in pulling pollution out of the water. These three processes performed in wetlands have the ability to treat polluted waste, water, and leave the water relatively clean. As long as wetlands are present, they work as a natural water treatment facility without the related cost. In addition to this, wetlands can prevent flooding, store water, provide vital habitat for wildlife, serve as beautiful scenery, and increase biological productivity. A wetland will mitigate pollution is um, primarily to slow the water down and allow that wetland ecosystem, the plants, uh, the, the microbes in the soil, and um, you know those organisms interact with that water. And in in slowing the water down, you give those microorganisms uh, and the plants time to uh, reduce the amount of nitrogen in that in that water. Um, to settle out uh, particulate um, pollution and to um, uh, settle out heavy metals and things like that. Get that into that, uh, into that wetland soil or into the tissues of those plants and um, take it out of that free water so that you know, aquatic species, amphibians and things like that aren't, aren't staying in uh, you know, the water that's polluted with uh, nitrogen and heavy metals and all of those things. That's, in a nutshell, how it happens. Um, the Nature Conservancy has worked hard to create uh, riparian forest and wetland habitat, um, primarily for the habitat value, but the uh, added benefit is, is that it, it clears that pollution out of the water so that the water departing from the Truckee Meadows that gets to Pyramid Lake is cleaner when it gets there just due to all of the projects that we've worked on. We do have uh, evidence from the Great Basin Bird Observatory that uh, um, the amount of birds using the property uh, at McCarran Ranch um, have increased since we started uh, bird banding surveys. Um, so we do have, you know, definite um, confirmation that the habitat improvements and the restoration work that we've done has, you know, brought more um, uh, diversity and amount of species back. Since the 1600s, over half of all wetlands in the United States have been destroyed, from over 200 million acres to just 99 million acres today. Certain states in particular lose more wetlands than others. For instance, 
California has lost 90% of its original wetlands, and Louisiana had recently been losing 30,000 to 40,000 acres of coastal wetlands each year. Wetlands are lost due to activities such as urban and suburban development, agricultural development, pond and lake construction, and mining. Wetlands are also threatened by extreme amounts of pollution from point and non-point sources. When dumped, pesticides, fertilizers, heavy metals, sediments, and domestic sewage can all be filtered out of water systems by wetlands, but in extreme amounts, these pollutants become harmful. In 2010, Northwest Reno decided to design a man-made wetland to restore Chalk Creek in order to help clean out pollution entering the Truckee River system. In Las Vegas and parts of California, constructive wetlands are being built in place of lawns that are fed by the gray water coming from the home. <laughs> 